Sometimes doing a writing assignment means choosing a current events topic or a controversial topic. But with so many topics to choose from and news resources to choose from, it can be a daunting task. In some ways, it would be a lot easier if you just had a few documents to look at instead of millions. Fortunately, we have a helpful resource at the library that can provide just that. On the University Library's website, you can look on the A to Z Databases page for Opposing Viewpoints in Context. Opposing Viewpoints covers hot topics and current events, broadly covering the disciplines that impact our lives while presenting different perspectives on them. On the main page, you'll usually see topics that are hot in the news at this time. Below that, I can browse issues, and that could be very useful if you haven't chosen a topic to write on yet. Just try looking under energy and environmentalism. Here I can look into different issues that I might use as a topic. Let's try nuclear energy. The topics page gives us an overview of the subject. If you click on read more, you can see the full article. And there's a pre-made citation at the bottom. At the top, you can find more citation tools and the ability to download and print the article. Also on the page, you'll find some resources, including academic journals, viewpoints, primary sources, references, video, news, and etc. The most special of these is the featured viewpoints. Because these are essays and articles that appeared in other publications, but were specially selected to be viewpoint essays in this database. That makes narrowing down resources quite a lot easier. Let's try looking at this one. You can get the full text of the article, and at the bottom, you can find that this was selected to be in Opposing Viewpoints and published here, but was originally published in Wired Magazine. So by using Opposing Viewpoints, you can find a few good selected articles from trusted sources, rather than have to search through millions of opinions which may or may not be garbage. Of course, you can also search for your topic. Let's try looking for breed-specific legislation or I'm just shortening it to breed legislation here. And although it doesn't show up as a topic of its own, we're still finding news articles and journal articles and magazines that relate to that topic. So even if your topic isn't listed in opposing viewpoints, you can still search for articles and maybe you'll find something to help you understand your topic better. You can also try using the topic finder. The topic finder page uses data visualization to help you better understand your topic. It's broken it down into smaller topics so that you can use those to find more information or get a better idea on what you really want to write about. I see that breed-specific legislation is included in these results. Breed-specific is one word. By clicking on it, I get results for articles that are exactly the sort of thing that I wanted to see in the first place. I can also look into the subject of dog bites, which is related to that topic. And like most good databases, there is an advanced search. The advanced search page also has a direct link to the topic finder if you would rather start your search there. So that was a brief introduction to opposing viewpoints in context. If you have any questions about this database or any others, you can contact us where it says contact the library up here. Thanks for listening.